I don't know. We're in a dark corner. Oh. Yeah. We're back. This is the third try. We're in... Uh, day, day 33. Yeah. Of reading through the Bible along with our daily bread. This is Eric. Can you see it? Okay. And I'm Linda. And we're reading and, Exodus chapter 29. And 30. And Matthew. Chapter 21. Verses 23 to 46. And we're going to we'll put in a quick prayer. We have a lot of friends who have asked for prayer this week. Father in heaven, we praise you and thank you for the privilege of calling upon you on behalf of friends. Lord, you know each and every one of their situations. Some are in the hospital, some are at home recovering. But they need a special touch from you, Lord, to bring them all the way back to full health. And we ask this for them in Jesus' name because you tell us to ask, and so we're asking. Praise your holy name, amen. And also we're asking for direction and wisdom for those who've asked us to seek for the future. I yes. have a friend who is possibly going to relocate, and I wasn't sure whether that's the right move for them. So Lord, we ask you to give wisdom to that family and leave them where you yes. want them to go. Be with us tonight as we read the new word. Help us be clear and easy to understand and precise in what we read. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, 29. <sighs> now my glasses are reflecting in the light. Well, can I adjust this now? Because okay, let's better see. looks better. And we're reading. Now you keep moving. Now, it ended with the statement God says, This is to be a lasting ordinance for Aaron and his descendants. So chapter 29 talks about consecration of the priests who are Aaron and his sons. This is what you are to do to consecrate them so that so they may serve me as priests. Take a young bull and two rams without defect and from fine wheat flour without yeast make bread and cakes mixed with oil and wafers spread with oil. Put them in a basket and present them in it along with the bull and the two rams. Then bring Aaron and his sons to the entrance to the tent of meeting and wash them with water. Take the garments and dress Aaron with the tunic, the robe of the ephod, the ephod itself, and the breast piece. Fasten the ephod to him by its skillful woven waistband. Put the turban on his head and attach the sacred diadem to the turban. Take the anointing oil and anoint him by pouring it on his head. Bring his sons and dress them in tunics and put headbands on them. Then tie sashes on Aaron and his sons. The priesthood is theirs by a lasting ordinance. In this way you shall ordain Aaron and his sons. Bring the bull to the front of the tent of meeting, and Aaron and his son shall lay their hands on its head, slaughtering in the Lord's presence at the entrance of the tent of meeting. Take some of the bull's blood and put it on the horns of the altar, and with your fingers, and, and pour it on the rest of it at the base of the altar. Then take um, all the fat around the inner parts, um, the covering of the liver, the both kidneys with the fat on them, and burn them on the altar. But burn the bull's flesh and its hide and its... Um, Oh, oh, oh. What's that? Outside the camp. It is a sin offering. I wonder if the offer is an image. I don't know. I don't know. It's really dark here. I'm having a hard time. Take one of the rams, and Aaron and his sons shall lay their hands on its head, slaughter it, and take the blood, and sprinkle it against the altar on all sides. Cut the ram into pieces, and wash the inner parts and the legs, putting them with the head and the other pieces. Then burn the entire ram on the altar. It is a burnt offering to the Lord, a pleasing aroma, an offering made to the Lord by fire. Take the other ram, and Aaron and his son shall lay their hands on its head, slaughter it, take some of its blood, and put it on the lobes of the right ears of Aaron and his sons, on the thumbs of their right hand, and on the big toes of their right feet. 
then sprinkle blood against the altar on all sides and take some of the blood on the altar and some of the anointing oil and sprinkle on Aaron and his garment and on his sons and their garments. Then he and his sons and their garments will be consecrated. Take from I have to get it right. Take from this ram the fat, the fat tail and the fat around the inner parts, the covering of the liver, both kidneys with the fat on them, and the right thigh. This is the ram for the ordinances. And from the basket of bread made without yeast, which is before the Lord, take a loaf and a cake made with oil and with water. Wafer. Wafer. I did that twice. Uh, it's so dark it looks like a T. The same spelling as separate. Put all these in the hands of Aaron and his sons and wave them before the Lord as a wave offering. Then take them from their hands and burn them on the altar along with the burnt offerings for a pleasant aroma to the Lord, an offering made to the Lord by fire. After you take the breast of the ram for Aaron's ordinances, wave it before the Lord as a wave offering, and it will be your share. share. <laughs> you really have trouble this late. It's really dark. Consecrate those parts of the ordin ordination ram that belongs to Aaron and his sons, the breast that was waved and the thigh which was presented. This is always to be the regular share from the Israelites for Aaron and his sons. It is the contribution the Israelites are to make to the Lord from their fellowship offerings. Aaron's sacred garments will belong to his descendants so that they can be anointed and ordained in them. The son who succeeds him as priest and comes to the tent of meeting to minister in the holy place is to wear them seven days. Take the ram for the ordinances and cook the meat in a sacred place at the entrance of the tent of meeting. Aaron and his sons are to eat the meal of the ram and the bread that is on the bread, uh, in the basket. They are to eat these ordinances by which atonement was made for their ordination and consecration. But no one else may eat them because they are sacred and if any of the meat of the ordinance ram or any bread is left over till morning burn it up it must not be eaten because it is sacred they don't do that when they ordain people now for ministry i mean they might if they were in the jewish way, but they don't do for aaron and his sons everything i have commanded you taking seven days to ordain it. Sacrifice a bull each day as a sin offering to make atonement. Purify the altar by making a atonement for it and anoint it to consecrate it. For seven days make atonement for the altar and consecrate it. Then the altar will be most holy and whatever touches it will be holy. This is what you are to offer on the altar regularly each day. Two lambs in your old, offer one in the morning and the other at twilight. Uh, with the first lamb offered a tenth of an offer in fat and fine flour mixed with a quarter of a hen of uh, oil from pressed olives and a quarter of a hen of wine uh, as a drink offering and a sacred sacrifice the other lamb at twilight with the same grain offering and its drink offering as in the morning, a pleasant aroma and oil offering made to the Lord by fire. For the generations to come, this burnt offering is to be made regularly at the entrance to the tent of meeting before the Lord. There I will meet you and speak to you. There also I will meet with the Israelites and the place will be consecrated by my glory. So I will consecrate the tent of meeting and the altar, and will consecrate Aaron and his sons to serve me as priests. Then I will dwell among the Israelites and there be their God, and they will know that I am the Lord their God, who brought them up out of Egypt so that I might dwell among them. I am the Lord their God.
The Altar of Incense, Chapter 30. Make an altar of acacia wood for burning incense. It is to be square, a cubit long and a cubit wide, and two cubits high. Its horns are one piece with it. Overlay the top of all the sides and the horns with pure gold, and make a gold molding around it. Make two gold rings for the altar be below the molding, two on opposite sides, to hold the poles used to carry it. Make the poles of acacia wood and overlay them with gold. Put the altar in front of the cur curtain that, it, that is before the altar of the testimony, before the atonement cover that is over the testimony where I will meet with you. Aaron must burn fragrance in the uh, fragrant incense, incense on the altar every morning when he tends the lamp. Can you put down a bit? There. He must burn incense again when lights are when he lights the lamps at twilight. So incense will burn regularly before the Lord for the generations to come. Do not offer on this altar any other <coughs> incense or any burnt offering of grain offering and do not pour a drink offering on it. Once a year, Aaron shall make atonement on its horns. This annual atonement must be made with the blood of the anointing. Pardon me, the blood yeah, of the anointing the sin offering. The sin offering. Me, the blood of the atoning sin offering for the generations to come. It is most holy to the Lord. Atonement money. Mm -hmm. Then the Lord said to Moses, When you take a census of the Israelites to count them, each one must pay the Lord a ransom for his life at the time he is counted. Then no plague will come on them each when you number them. Each one who crosses over to those already counted is to give a half shekel according to the sanctuary shekel, which weighs 20 geras. This half shekel is an offering to the Lord. All who cross over those 20 years old or more are to give an offering to the Lord. The rich are not to give more than a half shekel, and the poor are not to give less when they make the offering to the Lord to atone for their lives. Receive the atonement money from the Israelites and use it for the service of the tent of meeting. It will be a memorial for the Israelites before the Lord make an atonement for their lives. It's our time, like 12 to 6. Okay, sure. Then the Lord said to Moses, Make a bronze basin, wash the bronze stand for washing, place it between the tent of meeting and the altar, and put water on it. Aaron and his sons are to wash their hands and their feet with water from it. Whenever they enter the tent of meeting, they shall wash with water so that they will not die. Also, when they approach the, dust, the altar to minister by presenting an offering made to the Lord by fire, they shall wash their hands and feet so that they will not die. This is to be a lasting ordinance for Aaron and his descendants for the generations to come. My mom used to tell us we always had to take a bath before we went to church on Sunday because we had to be washed before we come before God. I can see where they got that. Now we're almost done this taping right now. We've got like half a minute left. So we're going to cut off and continue on the next one on anointing oil verse 32. 32 of chapter no, 22. Uh, chapter 30. So check in for part two shortly.